Hey guys, uh, we're back and uh, we're going to do this uh, old cowboy here. I call him Stash. And uh, reason being, he has a, a long mustache right here. Uh, and uh, he's a fun project to do. And uh, uh, he really goes back uh, several years ago. I did one and and he's just he he's been redone so but uh, he, he's a, he's one of my rough outs that I teach at seminars and um, by the way I just got back from Clearwater Florida and uh, I had some people there in the class uh, and a, a fellow named John from Canada he's going to be doing this and uh, I think Bill from Clearwater Florida is going to be doing it and and then then I'd like to shout out to uh, to Jeremy in Ohio. He's going to be doing this, and one more uh, 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 Larry in uh, Florida, Punta Gorda, Florida. But anyway, uh, we're going to start on this guy, and uh, that is the that's the finished product. Now let me reach up here and get the rough out. Now here's the rough out. I've got it. It's in its rough stages. I've got some draw, uh, I drew some marks on here. Just to kind of give you an idea. Uh, it's mapped in and where we're going to be cutting that. But, uh, can you see that okay, Peyton? Yep. Okay. Now, what I would like to do uh, first before I even take this little top knot off, I've got to go in here. This is kind of at a, too much of an angle. I'm going to get in here with a number nine gouge and kind of get me a little arch in here and I'll draw the lines back. But uh, that ear is going to be kind of flopped over and it needs to be uh, not as much of an angle in there. So I'll draw this in like this. Well, I'm going to come over here and do the same on this side. Turn it around here. How about that? Can you see that, Peyton? Yep. Alright. Easily turn it around and draw my ear. I want to get them kind of the same but reason why I did this is it was too much of an angle in there because when the router bit went in it can't make a curve in there but anyway what we're going to do we're going to start now we're going to remove this little top knot on the top and I'll start shaving away and on this guy we're just going to Pretty much, uh, I'll get him uh, kind of roughed in, and then I, off uh, when the video stops, I'll go in and clean him up and get him where he needs to be. But this little top knot has to come off first, and I usually try to get in here with a an upsweep knife because it's got a little curve in it and uh, not that you have to you can take a, a straight knife and come in and do the same thing but I just kind of like my upsweep now I've got that pretty much angled and I'm gonna get in there with a gouge now and uh, start removing some wood from the uh, brim of the hat <clears throat> so I'm going to come in here with a big number 11 and start working this and just really kind of cleaning that up in there I really I want to develop the crown of this hat. I've got one 
that I've been working on uh, before I even started this one I, I had been working on one uh, and I'll show you it in just a little bit here now yeah we see he's still a little bulky right in there can you see that right there Pike? yep okay we want to shave this down I'll come back in with my little up sweet knife that's pretty much the way right now I want this crown of the hat to look now what we want to do before we do any more work on the upper hat I'm going to take a soft V and outline underneath this brim of this hat and separate the uh, hat from the head and this ear. Like that right there. And I'm going to turn it around. I wished I could all do it from one side, but I just can't do it that way. It would be easier on everybody. But you outline this. And that's pretty much where we want to be right there. Now what I'm going to do is come in here and notch this little place out from where the duplicator couldn't get in there. I'm going to come in here and kind of notch this. Can you see that all right from there, Peyton? Yep. I want to show you uh, where we're at right now on the, with the original. See the back of the head. We want, we want to taper that this right in here. Can you see that, Peyton? Yep. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take off just a little bit more in here. And this, what we're doing on this guy, really, we're going to just clean up all these marks on this guy here uh, right in here I am committed to that now I'm gonna go in with a uh, a uh, actual V tool and make this cut in here because that's where I want that all to be And this guy here is probably going to be, it's going to be a little bit longer on the videos. I'm going to uh, probably five to six videos. Then again, I may surprise everybody or in myself and do it in less. All right, I've committed that right up in there. Now, uh, I'm going to start tucking this forehead up in there. Uh, when you look, that's got to, his forehead's got to go up underneath the crown of the hat. So, I'm going to take my knife and come in here and start cutting this and tucking it under my brim of my hat. And what I do, I work over to where this sideburn is. And I'll start just kind of cleaning up the marks on this guy as I'm doing it. <clears throat> and 
and getting off the router marks. Does that look all right, Peyton? Yep. All right. Okay, now I'm going to develop the uh, bottom of that nose so I can set this profile in here. I'll start cutting where those lines are. Now where I drew the lines doesn't necessarily mean that's where it's going to actually be cut. It's just giving me a, a direction where I want to go next. I'm going to kind of shave this down a little bit. And take a look at it from the side. Yep, that's where I want to be. And I like to keep a center line down the, the face in the hat just to keep it symmetrical. Let me remove these marks here. But now what I'll do, uh, I'll, uh, when we finish this uh, tonight, I'll go on and clean clean him up and, and uh, go in and uh, just get all the router marks on. And I'll show you the other one I got going here in just a second here. I had to narrow this nose a little bit. And take me a V and come down, develop where the old mustache will be. Like that right there. Then I'm going to turn it around and do this side to where the mustache will. It really rides all the way around to where this hair is. And then I'm going to, right in here, I'm going to take this soft V and kind of do the bottom of this mustache. Can you see that all right, Peyton? Yep. All right, and turn it around here. And the main thing on this, when you first get this guy done is, is you want to, uh, get all this old router mount marks off. Let's start cutting this where that lift is going to be. <clears throat> and right in here we want to develop the width of the forehead. And I'm going to take my V, come in, and separate to where the side burn and the, the side of the head will be on both sides. Now you don't want to remove these little cheek areas in there. <clears throat> and then I'll cut back, shave that off just a little bit. Turn around, work right in here. Now, while I'm in here, I'm, I'm going to take, shave this, get these old router marks off. And I can come in right here where this is laying on the shoulder, this mustache. I can go ahead and go in here and put it in. And also, follow on around to the other side. Uh, let me turn it around here. 
but I'm fixing to show you one that where uh, where I need where we'll be at probably starting from the next video that I've got. <clears throat> uh, uh, how much time we got, Peyton? Got kind of about four minutes. Four minutes. All right. I, I do want to undercut this chin just a little bit before we. And I'm going to show you here. I've, like I said, I started one. And here is one. On the next video, when I come back, I'm going to have uh, have it pretty much down to this shape. And uh, you can see on, by this one what I did. I just went in and kind of cleaned up all the old router marks. Now, I will go in and I'll separate in between these legs where you see that excuse me there where I darken that on, on this one here I'll, I'll remove that wood and then uh, uh, I'll work and clean up the hat a little bit and then I, I'm going to start uh, I'll do uh, daylight start in here and cleaning that out uh, I'll probably have the daylight done on this one I'm working on this one on the side but uh, I'll pretty much have him cleaned up and 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 to clean this up uh, you want to take I, I like you can use a knife and but I like on the hat right up here you, I like to use a little this is like a number two gouge but you go in and just kind of cut it like that How we do it, Peyton? Got right. about a minute and a half. All right. Well, anyway, uh, we're, we're going to get to this guy, and uh, it's just, it'll take us a little while, but uh, uh, when we come back, I'll, I'll have him all, I'll have him cleaned up pretty much. And But uh, until then, uh, I just want to say happy carving to every, everyone, and uh, take care of yourself. And we'll see you next time.